guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm filming my second video. I'm pre-filming for Morocco, but today, or right now, I came up with this look. I wanted to do a sunset eyeshadow look. This really reminds me of a sunset. It is really warm, and I just love to include yellow in makeup looks. They just make the makeup look pop. So today, I came up with this look. Really, right now, outside, the sun is going down and I was just looking at the sky because I, uh, I already filmed another video before this one, the blue one. I don't know if I uploaded it before or after this video, but I was just looking outside like what, what kind of look I'm, Ella, am I going to do? And I saw the sunset and I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And so this is how I came up with this look. If you guys want to know how I create this look, then keep on watching and please like and subscribe. Um, and then uh, start watching. <laughs> So I will be starting with the Fire palette from NYX and I'm going in with this yellow color. It is really good and really pigmented and I will be blending that in my crease till it's um, yellow enough. <laughs> Then I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going in with this reddish, red, warm, warm brown, red-ish, I don't know what color this is, dark red color. And I will be blending that into my crease. And again went in with the yellow one to blend those two colors together and then i will be going in with this darker color and with that i will be uh, creating the crease line for the cut crease then with the morphe 6505 the m5605 what, what am i saying i have no idea anymore the m506 yes i will be blending that out with that brush and then i'm going in with this cream color in white from nyx to clean up the lid, but then I remembered that I wanted to apply a mask, so I applied the Mud Masky mask on my T zone or just on, only on my chin and my nose where I have the large pores. And then I went in again with the white color and I started um, making the lid white and cleaning up the cut crease. And then again, I went in with the red color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And with that, I'm going to create a halo eye on the lid. So with this look, you have a cut crease plus a halo eye. So first I will be blending that in the outer V and in the inner V. And then I'm going back in with the yellow color. And that's going in the middle of the lid. And because of that, we used a lighter, like a, almost like a white cream color, or, oh my God, sorry, it's the white cream color. So um, that will make the eyeshadows pop even more. So that's what I really recommend you instead of using concealer. And then I went in with this darker color again, and I'm going to deepen and darken the outer V in, in a corner even more. Then again with the yellow one I went in to blend everything together and went in one more time with the yellow on top of yeah just in the middle of the lid. I took off the mask and then I applied this 24k gold elixir from by Kelsha as a primer. I really love this. I always use this for my clients as a base. It works almost for well it works for every skin tone or skin type but for like dry skin I would prefer to use something more oily and then I went in with a with the Maybelline Dream Satin Foundation which is actually super super good and I don't know why nobody is talking about this foundation but it's actually really good I just bought it and this was the first time I was trying it and it's amazing and then I used the Morphe concealer in the color nude which actually looked kind of too yellow for me this day but um yeah use that concealer and then i went in with this cream uh or 
liquid blush from Tarte and I blended it in with my finger. In the beginning I thought, oh my god, how am I going to fix this? But you can just easily blend this out. And then to set my face, I went in with the Ben Eye Cameo Powder, just set uh, everything that I concealed. Then I went in with the Bahama Mama um, bronzer from The Balm, which is also really beautiful. And with that, I'm just bronzing up my face. For my highlight, I went in with this new Morphe bl uh, highlighter, which is really, as you can see, really, really good. And this one is in the color Extra. Then I'm spraying some dewy finish spray from NYX to get a nice dewy face and I'm also applying some brow gel from Anastasia to make sure that the brows hair, brow hairs go up. I really love that look. And for my lower lash line I'm just blending first the yellow one then or no first the red one then the yellow one and then I blended the darker one. Just blended everything together to get a smoky effect underneath my eyes and applied some mascara and I applied the yellow one also in the inner corners. I really love that I did that. For my lashes I applied the lashes from Lily Lashes in the style Doha and for my lips I applied a Morphe liquid lipstick in the color Nibble. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys liked this look. Thank you guys for watching. And, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!